Hello and welcome back to another edition of Check It Out. Okay friends, I have the first of what I'm hoping to be a series of videos. This is on a surgery that I had about five hours ago. This is my hip, had a torn labrum and a few other little things going on in there that they fixed today through arthroscopy, if I'm saying that correct. And they also had to do a microfracture which is, uh, means the recovery time is a little bit longer. And uh, when I say that, I really am talking about crutches, I believe, and maybe more uh, therapy as well. We'll see. I'll meet again with the doctor tomorrow, and we'll see how things went exactly and what the plan is from here. But I just thought I'd do a day one video if you're going in for the surgery. The good news is, um, of course, you don't feel anything in the surgery. Woke up a little bit groggy from it, but within an hour, I had my wits amongst me. And I am on three prescriptions, two for inflammatory, and one is uh, Norco, which I'm going to do my best to kind of limit, but I did take one earlier today. Um, getting Moving around in the car is hard, slow, and it does hurt a bit. So I did take one uh, Norco there. But once I made it to my bed, this is the setup. So I'll kind of walk you through it. I've got this strap right here, which holds your legs from separating. And then at my feet, there's another sort of cushion strap down there. And that one is to keep your feet together, but it's also to keep your feet from spreading apart. They don't want your leg to roll. So that kind of keeps them together there. And then these two are um, compression gizmos that basically, they work on battery. Right now I have them plugged into charge, but they basically just kind of compress down on your calves to keep blood flowing to help prevent blood clots. So it is quite a setup. And I'll kind of talk and walk about uh, through these a little bit more as these videos progress. But basically, that's what's happening there. And then as far as the actual hip goes, I'm putting ice on it and have been, which is kind of a joke because when you are done with the orthoscopy surgery, uh, I'm going to dare to open my pants a little bit here. But basically, you have so much padding that this ice, I, I can't even come close to feeling it. It's the honest truth. I really can't. But anyway, so I've got a big old bandage here. This is how my legs are kind of put together. So it's uh, quite a process. You can imagine trying to go to the bathroom, trying to get up and down, do anything like that. It's uh, not going to be easy. So far, I have not moved out of the bed. And I don't know if I'm really going to try to move out of the bed these first this first night, uh, unless I really have to. And... Sorry, ladies, but being a male, I do have one advantage. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to use this or not, but that might be the bathroom plan. All right, friends, stay tuned. And again, this should be one of maybe as many as 10, 20, 30 videos. We'll see how the process goes. But if you're going in for this surgery, here's what five hours after the surgery looks like. Okay, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.